Hey guys, what's going on? This is Dan with my desktop build. Um, I wanted to talk about SLI, how SLI is going into 2019. And um, the issue I had that drove me nuts when I configured it, and um, I googled the problem and everybody had a different solution. And I kept going through it. I tried so many different things and none of them worked until um, I figured it out. My situation was specific to my monitor. Maybe that gives away the answer, but I just want to go over it real quick so hopefully this helps somebody. Um, first and foremost, how is SLI in 2018 going to 2019? There is still support for it, obviously. The newest drivers, as long as it's enabled on your desktop, it's easy to tell with NVIDIA Control Panel. Uh, you should be getting the performance. The one issue I had is I installed the second TI, um, booted up my computer, it black screened, um, the image just would not come on. So what I had to do was take out the other card, single card boot it, completely uninstall my drivers, um, install a second card, and then the computer would boot fresh with no display drivers, and then I installed the latest NVIDIA driver. So, two GeForce GTX 1080 Ti's. Is it worth it? In my opinion, hell yes. You could buy these used now. If you buy them new, they're still selling for like 800 plus, even like 1200 on Amazon, which is crazy, thanks to the crypto mining BS. I looked on Craigslist, I looked on Facebook Messenger, Facebook Messenger, Facebook Marketplace, and I found <clears throat> each for around 500 bucks. So for the cost of roughly a thousand bucks, I'm having the performance that's greater than a single 2080 Ti by a good margin. If you look up 4K benchmarks of 1080 Ti SLI versus a single 2080 Ti, um, <clears throat> SLI blows the door off of it. So I think the performance is there, but my issue was at first I wasn't getting the performance and it was driving me nuts. So, long story short, I went through everything. I started installing new drivers. I started um, doing clean wipes. I went to old drivers. I was Googling for hours. I was pulling my hair out. And then I realized something. I'm like, I just got this monitor, this Predator. It's a great monitor, but it's one of the few G-Sync monitors that they make at 4K. And I was like, could G-Sync be really causing this? So I disabled the box, but even before I tested it, I re-enabled it because I was like, I know, I want G-Sync. I paid extra money for this thing. Even though it was on sale, I paid extra money for it. So eventually I went back, I disabled it. I'm like, let me run another test. Let me show you guys something. At first, with the single 1080 Ti in, or excuse me, with the second one in, I was getting these results. Graphic score of 41 261 physics score physics score is low because I have a 6700k still um, It's essentially a 7700k. It's running at the same exact speeds as a stock 7700k which is 4.5 gigahertz um, This is more than enough for 4k gaming, so I'm fine with that The only issue I have with it is the PCI lanes from the Skylake chipset or the Z170 chipset It's only 16 so these bad boys are cut in half um, to 8x8 eight eight PCI, which is still fine. As long as they're at PCI 3.0, I mean, these cards are just, just filling that bandwidth. They still have some uh, wiggle room to um, run on by 8x8. Eight eight. Ideally, in a perfect world, sure, you would have both cards in PCI Express 16 and at least 3.0, but um, it still works in... Uh, by eight by eight configuration, I was playing benchmarks to show the difference is very minimal. So at first I installed the second card. Here's what I got: forty one two hundred. I was like, all right, that's an improvement, but it's still kind of low because with a single ten eighty Ti, I was hitting thirty k graphics score. So I'm like, really? That's it? Only eleven k improvement? That's odd. So I went through my drivers. I uninstalled them. I reinstalled. I DDU'd. I, I did clean installations and. The score went down. It went down to like a single GPU score. Let me see if I have it. Hang on. Look, it went down back to 29. So it was like it was running off a single GPU. So I'm like, what the F is going on here? I'm trying to, like I said, look up old drivers. I'm Googling every solution. The Witcher 3, the FPS is down. I'm like, this makes no sense. 
So finally, I see something that references G-Sync and how it craters performance. And this is a very recent article, uh, mind you. So I'm like, you know what? Let me let me shut off G-Sync. And if you don't know how to do that, it's all through NVIDIA Control Panel here. Um, so this shows you that SLI is enabled. That's definitely what you want. And then there is another screen that says set up G-Sync and mine was enabled, it's a G-Sync monitor, so I disabled it. G-Sync is an awesome feature, I would really prefer to have it, because that's why this beautiful Predator costs extra for a feature like G-Sync, but I shut it off. The second I shut it off, I go back into Witcher 3, my FPS is pinned at 60. It was like 40 to 45, or like excuse me, 40 to 55, that's full max hair works, full AA hair works, full shadows, HBAO, everything full maxed. But I'm like, I should still be getting at least 60 pinned with two GPUs. So once I turn off G-Sync, I go back in game, bam, pinned at 60. I'm like, wow, G-Sync really was the issue. So I go back and run Fire Strike again. That's old. And here's what I get. 48,000 score. Physics, don't worry about, but 48,000 from 40,000 from 30,000. That's where it should be. If you're running two 1080 Ti's, it should be around high 40s, 50K for graphics score. That's all it took for me. After hours of researching, after hours of going back and forth with drivers, uninstalling, changing slots, checking power consumption checking thermals i'm like it's that simple g-sync is somehow interfering with the performance of sli um i read one theory how it if you have g-sync enabled it interferes with the bandwidth and the pci lanes uh, that's really beyond me to be honest but um if you have a z170 chipset or a skylake chip and sli um that's what my issue was it was G-Sync. So now I have sick performance, but no G-Sync. Um, do I notice a difference? Not really, because with the two cards, every single game at 4K Super Ultra is pinned at 60 FPS. So it's pretty much smooth. I, I don't think I could see past 60 FPS, to be honest with you. And I usually still use V-Sync. But um, that's it. So if anybody has this problem where they're their GPU usages are low, or their performance is almost less, or performing like a single card, um, if you have a G-Sync monitor, definitely check that. That's that's the most simplest fix I can think of. Um, it could be something more in-depth, but that was my issue. Make sure you have a, a high bandwidth bridge. I got a Zotac bridge because I just wanted a straight black one to go with my build. Sorry, there's a reflection on this. Um, so that's it. Now, how do I think about the performance? Um, I love it. Like I said, I got these two cards for around 500. One less, one a little more. I got the bridge for 40 bucks. And it's outperforming, like I said, the single current best graphics card on the market by far. By far. Look up any 4K benchmark. There's one with Shadow of the Tomb Raider with 1080 Ti's, SLI versus single 2080 Ti. Um, averaging like over 30 fps more so yeah you'll hear oh scaling this and that you know some games not gonna work doesn't support indie games i don't play indie games i play triple a titles and typically triple a titles have sli support um it obviously works with the benchmarks so <clears throat> i think it's great if you have the money to spend uh go for it I would definitely recommend looking for used cars because these things new are still a lot of money thanks to the crypto mining BS, but I would definitely consider finding two good used cars. They have to be the same model or close to it. One of these is actually an SC2 if you look very closely, and the other one is just like a reference model, but they still work. It goes off the lowest card's clock, <clears throat> which is 1850 megahertz, so it's still good. And um, the performance skyrocketed. Like I said, 1080 Ti at 4K full ultra was giving me still around 40 FPS. It's a very demanding game. I mean, I would hit 60 every now and then, but 
I wanted that bitch pinned at 60. Like, I wanted to jack everything up. I wanted hair works at eight times. I wanted full shadows. And that's what I did. I, I jacked everything up with the second card, and now it runs it. But at the cost of G-Sync being off. So, hopefully this helps somebody. Um, if you don't have a G-Sync monitor and you're still having issues, it could be something completely different. But for me, taking G-Sync off made my FPS, my benchmark scores um, skyrocket. So, hopefully that helps somebody. Thank you.